you spent probably enough time with the math and the photons. Can you put yourself in that space? So we're like having a conversation in pretty peaceful, comfortable, flat space. Are you able to put yourself in, in, in the place around a black hole? Yeah, I'm able to imagine that kind of thing, yeah. So for example, and actually there's a wonderful movie, um, Interstellar. Yeah. And um, in that movie, you know, Kip Thorne, of, of course, is a great theoretical physicist, experimental, who later won the Nobel Prize um, for LIGO. And that movie is very accurate, scientifically. And there's some funny statements in there that of the, you know, 100 million people who saw that movie, there can't be more than 10 or 20 understood mm -hmm. about why Matthew McConaughey is ejecting the trash in a certain direction in order to... <laughs> <laughs> and, but, the, you know, for example, if I were a spinning black hole right here, if I were spinning fast enough, you wouldn't be able to stay still there. You'd be have to be orbiting around like that, you know. You'd have to have your microphone on a. Rotating yeah, but basis. I wonder what the experience is, what the actual experience, because I mean, space itself is curved. Well, if space gets very curved, you get crushed. You know, now, your body gets ripped apart because the forces are different on different parts. Of sure. Body. Okay, so that would be. But if it, but if it can be less curved, so that the curvature is very noticeable, mm -hmm. but you're not ripped apart. The fact that this was just nonchalantly stated is 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 just beautiful. Like two biological systems discussing uh, which level of curvature is required to rip apart said biological system. Very well. 